Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Choi is back with another allegation. Choi claims that Raila Odinga, or maybe the deep state, stage managed Raila's attacks in Wasingishu. So in this video, I want us to be patient, listen into what this man is saying, after which, as usual, we are just going to see, or rather to have a look at the truth behind what this man is actually saying. Listen into this. Wa Kenya, wacha niseme ukweli. Kapisa. Nimeangalia hii kitu ya Raila Odinga. Ninaona ni uongo. Yes. Listening to that man, he's bringing two issues here. First of all, he claims that the attack against Raila Odinga was maybe state managed by Raila himself or by Raila close associates. That's one thing he's actually saying. And then he claims that the window was knocked in from inside the plane. And then secondly, he's bringing in the issue of William Ruto's running it. And now he's stating that now it's Musalia to be William Ruto's running it. What does all these things mean politically? From the first issue, where he's stating that actually the attack was stage managed by Raila and maybe his team, that's a very big lie. Because already, Kenyans have seen a viral video, a video that is actually going viral. And from that video, we can hear somebody saying Maui, after which we can see stones being pelted towards Zaila's chopper. That is something Kenyans have already seen, unless maybe they don't know that. And then secondly, Raila Odinga cannot actually stage manage an attack that actually puts his life in danger. Because now to stage manage, you being pelted with stones as your chopper is actually taking off, that is being stupid. And I don't think anybody in his same mind can actually stage manage that you attack me when I'm in a chopper. That is something that actually does not make any sense. And also today, Oscar Sudi and Caleb Kositani, they recorded some statements with the DCI in a coup. And they made, uh, they le just leaked some information that they know of the real culprits, those who actually bought youths alcohol and actually mobilized them, maybe to attack Raila Molodinga. And they stated they are just going to maybe reveal those people. So I strongly believe that that attack against Raila Odinga could not have been state managed by Raila's camp, but it might have just been state managed by the likes of Oscar Sudi or even this Caleb Kositani. That comes out very, very clearly. So this man may be talking out of ignorance. He does not know actually that maybe as time goes by, more information is actually coming out on that whole incident. And then the issue of Musalia deputizing William Ruto, that also again just exposes the political naivety among some William Ruto supporters and also even William Ruto himself. Musalia Mudabadi goose in Western is already permanently cooked. Whether Musalia today changes his mind to go for the presidency or not, his goose is already cooked. And even if he was to go all the way to the ballot, he's already being seen as a William Ruto puppet, a William Ruto project. So definitely, Raila Odinga will still beat Musalia Mudavadi, even if he was on the ballot. And now that Musalia, the way that man is claiming, that now Musalia is actually going to be William Ruto's running mate, I, I don't think it will actually help matters here. Because if, if he's in, on the ballot, he'll still be beaten. What about if it's now an animal? In short, what I'm saying, Musalia's goose in Western is already cooked. That's the sad reality. Maybe these Tanga Tanga leaders and these people supporting William Ruto, they are not just coming to sense with that. That is the reality in Western as I talk. So it also just exposes these people as maybe a group that are actually out in touch with the real reality on the ground or deliberately, they might be living in denial. And that's largely, again, what I've actually been also saying on the mountain, that by August this year, 
the mountain to the last person. Something still tells me very strongly that when President Uru Kenyatta will hit the ground campaigning on the mountain, things will drastically change there. And that is a rare possibility that maybe William Ruto and his supporters are not actually factoring in. Already they think they have conquered the mountain, but not knowing that in Kenya, our politics is largely ethnic based, especially politics of the mountain. That is something I, I still believe strongly that the moment Uhuru will step foot on the mountain, things will change there. But listening to William Ruto and his supporters talk, they talk as if now they own the mountain. And that from where I see it, just exposes their political naivety and their green horn in politics. They don't understand well our Kenyan politics. So from where I sit, ladies and gentlemen, as I conclude, those remarks by that man just shows a confused fellow, a confused team, and a confused politicians actually just living in blues. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did indicate when we were starting, in case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya.